Todoroki's POV. As I continued to stand there in disbelief, I just saw her getting taken away yet again. Why can't I save her? Why was I unable to protect my one and only love? She was so special to me, and yet I failed to protect her. I felt useless and wanted to save her, but I can't. She might think that I am not good enough to be her boyfriend and might just break up with me. I was scared. I didn't want to lose her as I started to feel. A drop of tear run down my face. I immediately wiped it off when I heard Bakugo. Oi, I see hot. Have you seen Yin and Karashima? They're both missing, he yelled. Uh, Karashima and Yin entered the portal. Apparently, Karashima pushed her in and entered afterwards. I exclaimed to him. As we both went to look for Mr. Aizawa and told him what happened. Once we had explained Mr. Aizawa, he soon called the pros and figured that we needed a plan to save them. But since we have no idea where they were, it was going to be really difficult to find them. Your POV. Once I woke up, my eyes felt really puffy. I tried looking for something reflective so I could see how I look like, but... There was nothing, seriously. Does this room only have a fucking bed and a table? I tried looking for my phone, but noticed that it was missing. Where the fuck did it go? I decided to just go back to sleep, but apparently the environment was too loud. What the hell is going on out there? As I was unable to take it anymore, I opened the door to look outside. Surprisingly, Karishima was right w where our... What? Right we... Are at oh, surprisingly, Karishima was there. Right, we're at the League of Villains. Oh, maybe they all look weird except for a girl with space buns. She seems nice. Knowing that I would most probably live here for the rest of my life, I might as well get along with the villains since Karishima is not letting me out any time soon. As I was about to close the door, someone's hand slipped through. Hey, babe, don't shut the door in front of your boyfriend. It was Karishima. As you opened the door, you looked at him. Look, you're awake now. Would you want to meet your new housemates? I promise they're super nice. He said, without getting the chance to respond, he grabbed my hand and pulled me out of the room. Guys, meet my girlfriend. He said while standing in front of the LOV. I stood behind him as I was anxious. What if they want to kill me? And plus, they all look like they hate me as well. Aw, she's so cute, like a little puppy, the girl with space one said. My name's Toga, Toma Himiko. What's yours? As she said behind me, sheesh, these people don't know what manners are, coming behind people and introducing themselves. Um, Lin, Yin, I responded. That's a lovely name, Yin, she said. She was happy, I guess. Third POV. After getting to know the LOV, Karashima brought you to a new room. It was really nice and looked cozy. This is where we'll be staying since the previous room was for hostages. And since you're my girlfriend, you'll be sleeping with me from now on. As he hugged you. I love you, Pebble. You just stood there, not knowing what to say. Come on, Pebble. Say, I love you back. He spoke in an annoyed tone. I, I love you. You said nervously. <laughs> I knew you loved me. There he goes again, being that yonder that he was. Bakugo's POV. That damn Karishima, he took Yin again. And the worst thing is that he's with the LOV. But he doesn't know. Oh, but we don't know where they are. So this mission is going to be tough. Yin, she has always been a, a warm-hearted girl. No matter how badly I treat her, she still persisted to be my friend. But damn ass. Anyways, sacrificing herself for others even though she couldn't get hurt. <laughs> well, now I would have to save her. It's the least I could do after she has helped me so much. This is how I'm going to repay her for saving me. I can't let my guard down. If not, something bad might happen. Who knows? It will happen afterwards. He's always POV. Whew. Here we go again. This has already happened before, and now it is happening again. I always knew that Karishima would never recover from his psychiatric phase, but with Yen, but 
now it's even worse since he's with working with the LOV. We were having a peaceful life, then he just had to kick in and ruin everything. Not to mention, Yin was the one of my- Sorry, Yin was one of my favorite students, but she got kidnapped again. I'll have to do my best to save her, but the thing is that we need more manpower than before since we are not going against Kurashima, but the entire LOV. And the downside is that their leader, Shigaraki, ha- he has creatures called Nomos. They're most frustrating to handle, so we will need to gather all the pros and discuss about this matter. <laughs> since Kurashima is working with the LOV, the students are not safe anymore. Looks like we have to imp- and play brilliant dorms again. How troublesome. But it is for the safety of the students, and I will do my best to protect my students. Oh my god, so many P- POV changes. I mean, anyways, Kirishima's POV. Soka, how many times do I have to tell you not to scare Yen like that? Sorry. It was fun to see her reaction when I came up behind her. I swear to God, this girl needs to learn her place. She even flirts with my pebble. I hope she's not too scared of her if she is. I've got to put this girl in her place. Not to mention, Karishima, your girlfriend is really cute. She exclaimed, this girl was getting on my nerves. Can't she just shut up? You seem pissed. Is something bothering you, Karishima? She asked, yes, and that is you, Toga, you. You fucking flirted with her in front of me, and do you think I won't get mad over that? I yelled at her, listen here, Toga, don't even think about taking away, f- oh, and don't even think about anything funny with Yin, got it? She's mine. As I walked away from her trying to clear my thoughts of Toga flirting with my Yin, Toga's POV, G. Never knew Kirishima is that obsessed with her. But to be honest, Yin, she's really cute and she looks super cuddly and squishy. I want to hug her. <laughs> Just imagine Yin and I. She's really pretty as I walked around the hideout thinking of Yin. Oh, I'm sorry. Here, have your knife back. Oh, shit. It was Yin. We bumped into each other. Aw, how sweet. She picked up my knife. That knife really goes well with her. <laughs> Why, thank you, Yin. You seem like a pretty sweet girl. No wonder Karishima loves you so deeply. Ugh, I don't mean to be rude, but Karishima is not a good match with the Yin. In fact, she would be better off with me and not Karishima. Oh, well, looks like this is going to be a battle for Yin's heart. Kirishima, just you wait. <laughs> Anyways, bye now, Yin. It was nice talking to you. I said, I walked away. 